Good evening. I am pleased to welcome all of the Gateway to College 2019 graduation commencement ceremony. My, my name is Adam Kunz. I am the school administrator for Gateway to College, and I was probably the person who introduced you or your student to Gateway for the first time, and I am so proud of all of their accomplishments. The pride and joy I feel right now is a product of our collective work. Tonight's ceremony is a celebration of the graduate successes, of Gateway to College successes, of St. Paul College's successes, and collectively, our successes. Thank you all. First, I would like to introduce Gateway graduate Fu Saeed Ali to open our ceremony. Good evening, family, friends, and fellow graduate. Welcome to Gateway College graduation 2019 commencement ceremony. My name is Fosia Said Ali. I'm here to welcome and thanks for coming. On behalf of Tua Glass 2019, I would like to welcome again family, guests, and friends to our distinguished too. We all accomplished one major of our, high, our life, high school graduation. I was born in Kenya at the refugee camp called Hagadera. I didn't have the opportunity to go to high school. However, I came to United States in 2015. I got the best opportunity to go to Gateway College. I was so lucky because I had a great opportunity taking college classes while I was in high school. <laughs> Gateway, college Gateway College has helped me to reach my goal and my dreams to be in middle school and get my high school diploma today. Today, I'm graduating from high school. I decided to go to St. Paul College to attend college for two years, then transfer to University of Minnesota to get my degree. I would like to become a math teacher. Our community needs more teachers. Everything takes time. I'm the first person in my family to graduate from high school. I'm so, my parents are so proud and excited today. I can't imagine how happy they are. I remember that my parents told I will reach my goal one day, and today I'm the stage of graduation ceremony to get my high school diploma. <laughs> today I'm a role model for my young siblings. I would like to say thank you. I want to thank our great and kind principal, Adam. Second, I want to thank Second, I want to thank all my teachers, Mr. G, Mr. Larson, Mr. Korea, and I want to include all my college teachers. I want to thank my mentors, Mr. Ta, Mr. Dave, and Mr. Didi. They love to help students. They're excited to help you. I feel like they are part of my family when I'm working with them. I also want to combine my gratitude to everyone who helped me throughout my high school. Alhamdulillah. My fellow graduate, I encourage you to be the prize, the opportunity to take you by what you learned throughout your last 12 years. Using from good forward, let be the best. We can fill our dreams and, and reach our goals to help those schools us with happiness and prize. Once again, my fellow graduate, you can be the my final or you can be forget. Congratulations, class of 2019. Thank you for everyone. Next, I would like to welcome St. Paul College's president, Dr. Rasul Dasmost. Good evening, everyone. That's not convincing. Good evening, everyone. Good evening. There you go. Now you got it. I just have to say a couple of things. First of all, there are 45 Gateway to College programs throughout the United States. Every year, 10 or 12 of them are recognized and given national recognition for the student attendance, 
for grade point average and the number of credits students earn. For the second year in a row, St. Paul Public School and St. Paul College, Gateway to College program have earned national recognition. Much of it has to do with the trust you have for the students you hand over to us, but much of it has to do with the great work Adam and his team do each and every day, because I see them every day, so please give them a round of applause. <laughs> with that said, I'm honored and privileged to serve an institution that serves 15,000 students. So on behalf of our 15,000 students, that are 65% diverse, similar to the diversity of the students in Gateway to College, and 525 faculty and staff, I bring you warm greeting from St. Paul College. The class of 2019 Gateway to College graduate is a very special group to me because I'll be retiring at the end of June after 35 years of working in higher education. What started out as a modest program with only 25 students today serves over 180 students. And it will grow. This year, I'm proud to say that we're graduating 89 of your students. What a monumental achievement. Please give a warm round of applause to the students. I am, I am proud of each and every one of them. They're like our children. They're our community members. They're our family members. I understand that 38 of them, 38 of you, will be coming to St. Paul College. So when you start here, you can go anywhere. I know that. Not only did you work on your high school diplomas, but you actually earned 1,271 college credits. That's interesting, and that's a major achievement. Your resilience, your grit, and determination to get back on track and go beyond what you thought was possible is truly something to be proud of. Several of you, several of you have earned your GPA between three and four, so you had lots of A's and B's, and I think we can get to that earlier, later on. Many of you thought the work is not possible, but you did it. We know there is no better celebration for our graduates and their achievements than to be surrounded by their family, friends, and St. Paul College and Gateway to College employees and St. Paul Public School administrators. So I'm grateful to you for that partnership. As educators, we know that who you are as individuals and what you accomplish as a student is what inspires us to teach and come to work each and every day. That has driven me to work every day for 35 years. We thank you for that honor, and we congratulate you on your achievement. We celebrate the knowledge that you leave here tonight, prepared by your gateway to college education with a solid pathway to higher education, to continue learning, to live creatively and mindfully, to contribute to your communities, and to change the world for the better. Many of you will be taking on the Power of You program. Let me tell you that certainly you have a home at St. Paul College. We're excited and honored to help you continue to be successful in your educational journey. Some of you will be attending University of Minnesota, University of Minnesota Duluth, Beloit College, Minneapolis College, just to name a few. And some of you will be entering the workforce. The future is very bright for you. I will leave you with one parting thought from Ernest Hemingway. And it goes, today is the only one day in all the days that will ever be. But what will happen in all the other days that ever come can depend on what you do today. You made the right choice by choosing Gateway to College. We are, as human beings, a collection of choices. We have unlimited possibilities and capacities and abilities. You have welcome, you have become who you are throughout the choices you've made so far in your life. As you make your choices, who you will become will depend on how you will lead your life by the choices you will make each day. Commencement is simply a beginning. Aim high in all of your endeavors. You will accomplish more than ever you imagined. Congratulations to you all, 
and thank you for being a part of the college. I am very proud of you. Represent yourself, Gateway to College, and St. Paul College. Thank you. Next, I'd like to invite St. Paul Public Schools Assistant Superintendent Hans Ott to greet our graduates. Thank you, Adam. Thank you, Dr. Dasmotz. Thank you, everyone here. Colleagues, families, and of course, graduating class of 2019. We are all here to celebrate the graduation of 89 distinguished students. I say you are distinguished and I mean it because you have found time to do all the work involved in graduating while you were doing other important work. I don't know you personally, but I do know this. In a world that loves labels, you refuse to be categorized. You have taken risks to get where you are. You have learned from every setback. You have turned challenge into opportunity. Many of you have looked fear in the eye and refused to blink. And I am proud of you. We are all proud of you. Every graduate of this year's Gateway College program has earned several college credits, adding up to, as Razul has said, 1,271 college credits. 1,271 college credits. Needless to say, all those credits will come in handy. 38 of you tonight plan to continue your education at St. Paul College in the fall. Taking care of business, one student has earned their associate's degree from St. Paul College and their high school diploma. Some of our other graduates are off to Century College, Metropolitan State, St. Catharines, and the University of Minnesota Duluth. And you are still dreaming. I understand that among you are future nurses, social workers, as we heard teachers, IT specialists, among other many adventures yet to become. Let's give them all another hand. <laughs> Families, I would like to express my deepest gratitude to you for trusting us to educate your children. As a father, I know it means a lot to trust your children to other adults. And you've done that, and we appreciate that. It's been both an honor and a privilege. Thank you for giving us the opportunity to help your children grow into the successful young adults they have become. Graduates, through your hard work and dedication and with the help of your teachers, school staff, community mentors, supportive adults, you are finishing high school and completing college credits, having cultivated your skills and talents to become remarkable individuals. My sincere hope for you is that you never lose the drive and passion that have brought you here tonight to the brink of your college career and your life. As you move forward into that future, I urge you to remember the people who helped you along the way, your family members, your teachers, coaches, counselors, and school administrators. At last, but not least, the friends who positively supported you. You will hear this again the best way you can thank them is to achieve your dreams. I want to say just a few words about perseverance. As you continue your studies and are faced with more challenges and demands on your time, perseverance will be essential to your success. Perseverance asks us, do we have the mindset and energy required to stick with it? When things are looking grim, do we run, do we fold, or we dig in? Do we rediscover the will to make it happen? Perseverance may be the most important trait you can grow in yourself. And believe, and I believe, every one of you has a strong start on making perseverance a cornerstone of your life. It will serve you well wherever you go. There's nothing mysterious about it. Even the most practical person out there doing the most straightforward work must be able to keep on keeping on if they're going to be successful. Graduates, on this day, which we celebrate your success, I urge you to get out there and give life everything you've got. And please be assured that, we'll, that you will never, ever be alone. People will be there to help you just as you will be there for others. Remember the optimism you feel today 
and find a way to call to mind when going gets tough. Maya, Maya Angelou said it best, just do right. Right will satisfy your soul. It brings you the kind of protection that bodyguards can't give you. So try to live your life in a way that you will not regret years of useless virtue, inertia, or timidity. Take up the battle, take it up, it is yours. This is your life. This is your world. Graduates, make it a better world. Congratulations to the graduates of 2019. Tonight's student speakers are each recipients of Gateway to College's Compass Award, an award given to students who most embody Gateway's four virtues, hard work, attendance, perseverance, and growth. Please welcome Abdi Aziz Ali, Yossi Bautista, Aisha Mohammed, and Tashana Tillman. Hi. <laughs> Hello. Uh, good evening, everyone. Uh, this is a beautiful graduating ceremony for 2019. I want to I want to say thank you, Allah, who gave me um, the great opportunity um, in front of you guys. My name is Abdelaziz Ali. I came to the United States in the end of 2015. I only spoke little English and had little education background in Somalia. I started hard in high school as a freshman when I was 18 years old. As you know, in Minnesota, you are not permitted to attend high school, high school after the age of 21. Um, I started frankly out because I only had three years. I start attending summer school every year to catch up. I was so stressful and then confused but my friend told me um, about Gateway to College. Uh, Mr. Adam helped me um, through my education to join Gateway. A year and a half later, I'm standing here, graduating with 12 college, college career. I believe this is just the first is, is time of my life. I would like to thank you everyone who helped me, including my beautiful mom and my dad. <laughs> Especially my mom and my teachers had in high school, and also my teachers and good staff, all my teachers. Thank you, all of you. I love you. Good evening, everyone. Good evening, everyone. Today is such a beautiful day with really nice weather. Um, I, I'm really excited to be here, but i like to introduce myself. My name is Josimar Bautista, Josimar, no Jose. I'm grateful to have this opportunity to stand at this podium before all of my classmates. I want to thank the people who have love and support me so I could come this far. But first, I would like to recognize my mom, Senaida Riquelme, 
who passed away a year ago for always being there for me and helped me in any way she knew how. I would also to I would also like to thank my family, my gardens, Francisco Bautista, and my auntie Socorro Neri, and my professors who always were there for me, helping me. And lastly, I would like to thank Johanna Helming, who was one of the most influential people in my life since I started high school. Back then, when I was in high school, I wasn't even able to order some food by myself because I didn't speak the language. To learn it was a hard process for me, and I'm sure it was the same for many of my friends who took ELL classes with me. A bunch of awkward silences and stares after a question we didn't understand was, and a question that we didn't understand forced us to learn, in, to learn faster. But this is not about learning another language. This is about working for what we want to become. This is about visualizing ourselves in the future and being honest about what are we doing or what are we going to become. Think about for a second. Do you really like where you are right now? If you say no, that's completely fine. All of us still have a whole life to work on what we want for ourselves. We all are dreamers. But what could happen if for some reason any of our dreams never become true? In this world, things work perfectly for some and sadly bad for others. This is why I would like you to reflect on what Billy Joe say in one of his songs. Dream on, but don't imagine they all come true. Knowing this, we are better prepared to face life and keep standing no matter what is thrown at us. You have much to be proud tonight. So let yourself enjoy this time and remember to thank everyone who was there to help you. Have an amazing night. Thank you. Assalamu alaikum. May peace be upon you. My name is Aisha Mahmoud, and I'm one of, the, one of the graduates here tonight. First and foremost, I want to thank God for giving me this great opportunity to stand in front of all of you here tonight. Second, I want to thank my parents, my mom, and my dad who are here with me tonight for their continuous support and love. And finally, and my family members who are also here with me tonight. And finally, I want to thank my teachers from both schools for everything that they did to help me. And my friends who supported me through my tough times. Just to give everyone a little bit of background about myself, I arrived to the United States about five years ago. And in that time, I didn't know a single word of English. I started in ninth grade, even though I had a little educational background, and without understanding English, made school very tough. I had to work hard to overcome these and many other challenges. However, with the help of my ESL teachers at Como Park Senior High, and not willing to give up, I was able to understand and, and write a little bit of English by the end of my first year of school. At the end of 2017, I heard of a program called Gateway to College from one of my favorite teachers, Ms. Sivold, where students can earn high school and college credits at the same time. At first, I was very nervous and scared because I felt like I wasn't ready for college yet. But with the help of the Gateway to College teachers and staff, I have earned more than 50 college credits, and I'm very grateful for that. <laughs> I know my story is just one of the countless stories amongst our graduates here tonight. Just, just know that there will be times where you feel like you want to give up or you have no hope, but don't let that hold you back. Ask for help when you need to and do everything you can to achieve your goals and dreams. Think back to this evening, this moment where none of us gave up. We all had our challenges and we all overcame them to make this night possible. Congratulations to the, to the class of 2019. After a lot of hard work and resilience, we have finally made it. Just, re just, just remember, this is just the start of our journey. 
Good luck to each and every one of you with whatever you decide to do, and I wish you all a bright future. So my mom and my dad are here with me tonight, and I would like to say two phrases in Somali, and if that is okay with everyone. Hoya, welcome at Sinti in Samar Kastia Auden, and Adi Adan Gumat Sinti Hin, Ilai and I have the other two. Again, thanks to the parents, teachers, friends, guests, family members for supporting all of us through everything. A special thanks to the Kerwe. Oh my God, a special thanks to the Kuwait to College teachers and staff with everything that they did to help us. Um, and a special thanks to Mr. Larson for helping me write this speech. Thank you. My name is Shana Tillman. First off, I want to thank the Gateway staff for supporting me, making this possible for me today. I also want to thank my dad for always supporting me, giving me good guidance. He ain't never leave me in the wrong way. So I appreciate him. Woo! I also want to thank my big sister for being a good role model for me and my little sister. She's going to be a senior in college next year. I want to say I'm proud of everyone graduating today. I know a handful of y'all since like seventh grade, Dallas, Naja, Jay Sean, Kamari, Latavia. We didn't came a long way. Everybody that is here today deserves to be here. I hope everybody proud of themselves. I just want y'all to remember that our work always results in good things. So when stuff get hard, just keep going. Obstacles just there to um, see how strong a person we is at the end of the day. So be bold, be courageous, be the best version of your uh, be the best version of yourself. You don't never know who's watching. Character is number one thing. That's real talk. The most important thing I learned in high school is to not care about what people think. The most, once you stop caring what people think about you, you're going to be happy. You ain't never got to worry about nobody judging you. With that being said, I'm happy to say that I'm continuing my education at St. Paul College. Thank y'all for your time. Thank you, students. I would like to invite Gateway to College's social studies instructor, Mr. Brent Gillis, to address the graduates. Good evening. On behalf of the Gateway to College staff, I want to thank all the family, friends, and special guests who came tonight to celebrate this amazing group of graduates. Tonight, we celebrate hard work. We celebrate determination, drive, having grit. We celebrate believing in yourself. We celebrate community, growth, and excellence. We celebrate one of a kind. We celebrate love and friendship, and we celebrate success, and that success deserves a round of applause. My name is Mr. Gillis. I'm the social studies teacher for Gateway to College. I'm also a student advisor and an online coordinator, and I want to start tonight by addressing the word alternative. Because in the world of public education, when you label a school alternative, 
people sadly make unfair assumptions. And it usually starts with, that must be a school for tough kids or the easy route to graduation. These assumptions absolutely do not define these graduates or our school. For Gateway to College, when we say we're an alternative learning center, it means we are progressive. We are cutting edge. We are better than traditional. Alternative means we provide a personal, supportive, customized education for every student. Alternative means our students are part of the Gateway to College family who takes college classes while finishing high school. In 2014, we graduated our very first class, and it was small, 14 graduates. But that was only the beginning for our school. This year, the Gateway to College program will set a new graduation record with 89 graduates. These 89 graduates earned a combined 1,271 college credits while in the Gateway to College program, which saved these graduates over $231,000 in free tuition and books. The 2019 graduates have exceeded all expectations and helped redefine the word alternative. The growth and success of this program would not be possible without an amazing staff. And I'd like to take a moment to recognize my colleagues who all love coming to work every day, who treat everyone with respect and share a common vision to do whatever it takes to make students our number one priority. Thank you, support staff, Dave, Didi, Ball, and Suwan. Thank you, counselors and therapists, Jesse, Bronwyn, Molly, Becky, and Judy. Thank you to my teaching colleagues, Mr. Carrier, Ms. Newcomb, and Mr. Larson. And thank you, Administration, Assistant Director Ginther, and our principal, who leads by example and has a huge heart, Adam Coons. The help and support of this staff has greatly contributed to the success of these graduates. To conclude tonight, I'd like to offer a final piece of advice for our graduates. As a history teacher, I love finding empowering quotes. So tonight I want to share a quote from the famous race car driver, Mario Andretti, who said, if everything seems under control, you're just not going fast enough. It's tempting to want to slow things down and make life more predictable. But keeping things under control rarely creates greatness. If you want to succeed in a fast-paced world, you need to be able to move quickly and push yourself beyond what you thought was possible. So tonight, graduates, take it slow. Tap the brakes. Celebrate your success. But tomorrow, get your foot back on the gas pedal. I wish all of you a life of love, luck, health, success, and lasting happiness. I love you, and congratulations, graduates. Please welcome School Board Director Mary Vanderwert for a greeting and the conferring of the diplomas. Hi, everybody. 
This, uh, I, this is always my favorite graduation. There are a few perks in um, being on the board, but graduation is always the best. This is so joyful. And um, on behalf of the Board of Education in St. Paul Public Schools, I want to offer our congratulations as well. We hope that, uh, well, we know that what, that what you have accomplished, graduates, has not always been easy. But I think you've also learned that you can accomplish anything you set your mind to, and we are anxious to see what your next goals are and, and where you're headed with the skills that you've gained at Gateway to College. We also want to say thanks to families. I know it's always not always been easy for you either, and we appreciate being your educational partner for your families. So we wish you all the very best in the next stage of your life, and with that, I will uh, do my favorite part, too. I get to confer the, the uh, diplomas. It sounds very official. By the power vested in me by the state of Minnesota and by the Board of Education of Independent School District number 625, I hereby confer upon each of you the high school diploma with all its rights, privileges, and responsibilities. Congratulations, everybody. I would like to introduce school counselor Jesse Hass to present the class of 2019. Our first graduate, Habiba Abdullahahi. Fuz Ali. Abdizi Ali. Ana Alfaro Rosales. Gabriella Anderson. Tin Ong. Yosimar Bautista Reclama. Evan Broatman. Melanie Camillo. Latavia Capard. Trace Clark. Maria Davidson. Melly Doe. Jeremy Duval. April Escandon. Destiny Finley. Jay Sean Frazier. Kevante Foster. Eduardo Gomez. Javier Gomez Paredes. Catherine Gonzalez. Daquan Grimes. Habon Haren. Lily Henning Burton.
Eric Hess. La Do Tu. Ronson Ivanoff. Ariel Islam. Lalo Jama. Nia Johnson. Pa Ku. Nyjah Lafreniere. Golden Land. Teresa Liss. Hollis Massey. Idella McGrath. Aisha Mohammed. Hey Blue Moo. Jacob Mugas. AJ McGee. Jose Antonio Mendoza Casting. Katie Wynn. Ray Palmquist. Masha Poe. Kamari Poole. Claw Ray. Dallas Schneider. Otto Schrepfer. Tahir Shah. Allison Shetka. Kamara Short. Anna Sifferly. Lai So. Ignatius Spencer. Destiny Tate. Susavang Tao. Tashana Tillman. Ta got you. Dolores Torres. Da Tune. Hu Chi Vang.
Amiria Walker. Tobias West. Kevin White. Breton Williams. Crystal Zhang. Lee Zhang. Linda Zhang. Lily Yang. Melanie Yang. Julie Flowers. Christian Neoquazera. Michael Brooks. Sharmaki Abdi. AJ Turner. Jamin Hines. Abdul Rahman Ahmed. <laughs> Graduate Eduardo Gomez will close tonight's ceremony. Welcome, Eduardo. Please remain seated until after Eduardo's speech and the graduates have recessioned out of the auditorium. Good evening and thank you from the Gateway to College graduating class of 2019. <laughs> My name is Eduardo Gomez, and I am thrilled to bring you this joyous ceremony to a close for this class of fine young scholars. For a majority of you that might not know me, I'd like to give a brief description about myself. I did not have an easy upbringing. I was raised by a single mother who's here in the crowd today. I owe everything to that woman. Sorry. She gave me purpose in life, and there's nothing stronger than a human being with purpose. <laughs> to all the parents that push their children to exceed, not just in school, but in all aspects of life, you are greatly appreciated. Please give yourself a hand. <laughs> now, I know that not all students were fortunate enough to meet their parents or have good parents, but to those, I tell you, you be your own motivation. You be the one that your friends look up to, and you be the one that give hope to the youth that didn't grow up with good parents, that there's light at the end of the tunnel as long as they work hard. <laughs> Growing up, there were times where my performance in school wasn't the best. The last two years, I turned that around, though. I wanted to, take, uh, I wanted to start taking college classes, but some of my counselors didn't think I was ready. Adam, though, on the other hand, he saw that I changed. He saw I had potential in me. And the staff is something I love in this school. With being here only one semester, I've never gotten so much support and seen staff members so passionate about helping the youth. Adam, thank you for providing students a program to persevere in their education. There are many more staff here that showed me love and support. Ball, Didi, Jess, Molly, Mr. Gillis, and many, many more.
To all my fellow classmates that are wondering, what do I do now, now that you're since you're graduating? Do what you love, and I mean that 100%. Do what you love. <laughs> Something when you're doing it, nothing else matters. I'm going to college to pursue my lifelong goal of becoming a physical therapist. I want to become the best physical therapist in the nation. Scratch that, in the world. Someone has to have the title, and why not me? Anything in, in, in life worth doing is worth overdoing. This is something that the staff in Gateway to College encouraged, to not just be good, be great. If you have a B, not, why not go for an A? With Gateway to College already teaching us to exceed expectations, our class is already on the right path to become excellent in whatever path we decide to pursue. To finish off this speech, I want to say some last words. Mom, I see you right there. And I want to say I owe this all to you. Every time I cried, like I kind of am now, <laughs> uh, or give up in school, uh, you showed me love and you showed me I had so much potential in myself. You only asked two things from me in this life, and that's be good and finish high school. <laughs> and today I get to fulfill both your wishes, mother. <laughs> to my fellow graduates, in the future, whenever someone asks me, where did you graduate from? I can proudly say, Gateway to College, class of 2019. <laughs> We are a small class, but we are all fine young scholars. Let's keep the train going on being good students, not just in education, but in life. Now, Gay with a College, class of 2019, please move your tassel from right to left side of your cap. <laughs> Guests, please remain seated until the graduates procession will leave the auditorium. Thank you, good night, and congratulations again. Against the rules, I can feel it. I'm the world's greatest.